Hello and welcome back to EU Sustainable Energy Week. Uh, we're here at the networking uh, lunch and we're trying to grab all the winners. And uh, I'm joined now by Werner, Werner from MetaPower. Werner, tell us a little bit about your project. Um, the project basically proves that uh, a 1,200 inhabitant community can uh, not only produce the complete array of energy requirements that they have, but also produce basically triple the amount of energy that is consumed in various forms. And this is the big advantage about biogas. Biogas can be stored, it can be transported, it can, can be turned into the kind of energy that the specific community requires. That means we produce electricity, through co-generation. We use the heat within heating district network for public heating within the municipality. We upgrade biogas since 2007 now already. It was the first biogas fuel station in Austria. It was one of the first ones in Europe. And we upgrade biogas to replace fossil ZNG. We now service about 200 cars with a 20,000 kilometers range per year. And we have now introduced the biggest biogas upgrading and injection into public grid in Austria and one of the biggest ones in Europe. So, so the biogas is being injected into the grid. Can, yes. If we can go back uh, uh, right to the beginning the, uh, uh, about the production of biogas, uh, yep. it's like, uh, uh, what's the fuel source? Uh, and uh, can you just talk us a little bit through about Absolutely. that? The fuel source is purely on a residue waste basis main um, components on these particular projects are uh, stable wastes, horse stable waste, where we even receive money from the horse stable operators that they provide us with the waste. It's cow stable, it's pork, pig stable waste, sometimes um, some chicken poultry farm waste and uh, different waste from agricultural production like um, the, the, the um, remaining from maize harvesting, all the straws, different kind of straws. We also um, cooperate with academic institutions like the Technical University in Vienna or uh, the Agricultural University in Vienna for uh, intermediate crop cultivation. The farmers need to cultivate sometimes intermediate crops in order to improve the soil quality. And, and stabilize the soil. Stabilize again, the soil, again, exactly. So then and we take that then as an additional inlay material for right. us. But, uh, the issue here is we can mix this all together because we have in introduced a very specific uh, inlay material preparation system which we call, call the power converter, yeah? mm -hmm. where we basically crush, homogenize and mix the complete inlay materials uh, uh, together in order to make it much easier digestible for the bacteria. We reach a much higher biogas yield in a faster time and thereby make a uh, problematic inlay material. So, so this is a, a, an, an uh, anaerobic... Uh, it's an uh, anaerobic uh, digestion, of course, standard anaerobic digestion. But here, this particular, as I said, the particular key issues about this plant is the inlay material preparation, thereby working on a completely 100% waste basis. It is a plant that doesn't smell. Right. We operate on a zero emission basis. The reason why it doesn't smell is because we add an iron 2 chloride which we call Metamax, into the process, which binds the sulfur and ammoniac. There is no smell. The biogas plant is located right next to the town church. Right. If the biogas plant would smell, we would have a serious yeah, yeah, problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a serious yeah, problem. You'd know about it. So, <laughs> no. so, so, uh, so all of this waste is getting uh, is coming to you from the farming community. Uh, how uh, and agricultural like and, agri wine. And, and, and and how do they uh, how do they benefit back from that? Yeah. I mean, uh, in terms of maybe machinery that they use and things like that. There are several. There are several issues. One, uh, the whole production is a closed circle process. There is no nothing wasted within this process. It's a natural process. It's basically redesigning a cow's stomach. Yeah. Now what comes out is a high quality fertilizer. That means that the farmers receive a high quality fertilizer on a purely biologic basis, replacing a lot of uh, actually um, artificial fertilizer that they would use otherwise. And we have proven now on these soils that we have been using the fertilizer on that the, actually that the yield can be increased 10 to 15 percent over the years. So it's a very organic way of improving your agricultural production. And One. then by increasing the yield, you're increasing your fuel source. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Then two, um, we offer our vehicle fuel to these farmers that have retrofitted their tractors 
and agricultural machinery, thereby replacing diesel directly in their production process and reducing their production costs. So, so there, there, there's again a vested interest of them uh, supplying you with the waste or selling exactly. it to you, what, however So they the get equation. back the fertilizer, they have access to cheaper fuel, they can reduce their production costs. How much cheaper is the fuel? Um, if there are, if there are company shareholders, mm -hmm. uh, they will reduce it by about seventy percent. So this is a really a community project. The farmers Absolutely. are shareholders Absolutely. of the project Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. This is a this is a classic. See, if you look into Central Europe biogas plants, this is more or less an organic project. It's growing over the years and ad adapting to different requirements. Like this, mm -hmm. the project has been founded by fourteen farmers that said, okay. Now let's put our ways together and let's get, get, let's get an organic fertilizer. Yeah, there must be a smarter way of exactly, doing this, right? Yeah. So you had a third point as well. So you went to one and two, there was yeah. a third point. The third, uh, one and two, the first one was the material upgrading. Second point was the uh, sulfur and ammoniac binder. And the third point, which is now a key issue for, let's say, existing biogas plants that face a current problem because of the local lack or loss of uh, subsidies on electricity production, which is actually the upgrading of the biogas to um, either CNG quality and thereby operate a fuel station, which is a small container-based application that you can put right next to any biogas plant, or now we just opened last week officially the biggest injection adaptation upgrading um, plant for biogas into the natural gas grid. Right, thereby completely replacing natural gas, fossil natural gas, and this is now at the moment 800 cubic meters per hour. So th that is where the, I, 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 I'm afraid I don't know the, the pure constructs within, uh, within Austria, but that would be where the, the national gas grid uh, provider becomes an off-taker to you for biogas. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. So Absolutely. Um, the idea is to decarbonize somewhat. Yeah the uh, uh, natural gas system. And respond to the demand of replacing 10-15% the 2020 goals uh, of natural gas into the gas grid. Yeah. Well, that, that's been great and uh, unfortunately it's all we've got time for uh, and, and, and I hope we've given you a flavor of what the, uh, this project about. Um, you know, we met uh, Ben and some of his colleagues here so we're going to try and get more information and uh, uh, wrap that information around this interview so you can read a bit more depth about, uh, you know, for, for those of you who are really into the minutiae facts and figures which I'm not going to go through in this interview. Uh, they will, um, you know, if we've done our job and got the information from uh, 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 you know the company will have that uh, attached to this interview so thanks again for watching this just one short comment um, the plant project is located right next to Vienna Airport it's easy to visit we invite people to come and take a look at it fly yeah. in Anytime. Vienna is a great place to visit <laughs> anyway well, so when you get also. tired of talking to about bi biofuels <laughs> you can see some other stuff okay Vienna, Thank thanks, you very much. thanks very much thank you very much. Thank you.